Hello, my name is Kark82 and welcome back to our Break Tech New Horizons Season 3. I am just currently crafting up the workstations that we're going to need for the next tier of assembler here. So I've just gone ahead, added the recipes, and uh, going it from there. Boy, does it make it easier having all the recipes in here? That way I don't have to like sit here and figure out what I need. Although like the math is much, much easier after I found out about that. It is gonna be really good when I finally have all this stuff automated. I forgot how slow that was. That blue alloy ingot is such a slow recipe. Yeah, look at that. 29 seconds. I mean, that's MV, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, that one. The 8 seconds. No, oh, it's the same, yeah. Same for... That extruder. Thankfully, we don't need a ton of these. Um, so I am crafting up the, oh, I just realized, yeah, I just realized I had those in there, so that was actually making the recipe cheaper. Whoops. Yeah, those are for the batteries. All right, that's not, that's not terrible. I was worried it was going to say, um, no, not glowstone. What was it? Phosphorus? I thought I was going to say we needed like a whole bunch of stuff, but. Uh, we don't. All right. I don't remember where we got that. I feel like we got that from like a quest reward. Maybe I crafted that up. Really don't remember crafting up those glowstone wafers though. What is the CPU? CPU is red, isn't it? Oh, diamond. Okay, so we're crafting up the parts for that, and then we will get the assembler. So I'm uh, going to work on this. Hopefully we should have enough titanium uh, for that. I have like 20, 27 or something like that titanium left. That should be good. Hopefully. So oh, I'm just crafting up. The motors that we need. I always forget how much black steel yeah, the motors need now. So we're definitely, by EV, you're definitely starting to get into some more expensive components. Uh, before that, you needed like electrum and copper and tin, like nothing that needed to be smelted. But we are definitely now starting to get into uh, the tiers where all the metals are going to be smelted. Uh, thankfully, now that we have upgraded the blast furnace, though, black steel only takes six seconds. So we're not talking like 90 seconds per ingot or something like that at this point. Um, also, we're down to, I think it was like point, point 0.6 seconds or something for like steel, regular steel. So uh, now we are we're making some decent progress over here. And as you can see, our air filter is... Nice job. I mean, I mean, like, I don't know. I talk about it like a lot, but I don't know. For some reason, the oh, I didn't mean to put that ashes in there. They're so useless. These tiny piles of ashes. I don't even think you can. Yeah, they don't convert. If they converted to like carbon, maybe I would worry about it. But I mean, quicklime is sort of important. For something I can't even remember. Oh, quickline was like, wasn't it? It was like used in one of these, I think. I can't even remember where. Um, so a long, long ways away. But uh, all right, so we're getting that, and then I have the, I have the circuits crafted, so I'm just crafting up. 
should have a bunch. Of, oh, I don't have that much. Uh, the rubber. I, we're getting there slowly with the all the automation of the plastics and silicon rubber will eventually get. But for the time being, I'm still doing this 100% manually. And with the sulfur. Yeah. Uh, we probably could have, like, crafted up machines and stuff to automate a lot of that earlier, but I really just wanted to get to AE so I can start automating all the stuff and then do it at that time. As opposed to manually crafting up 50 different mach machines. I was kind of hoping to do it all. Not having to do it all manually. Uh, so I am kind of doing that. And we go. Yeah, just because uh, we're going to need a bunch of the, the uh, silver cables. Is it silver? I think it's silver, isn't it? Oh, where did I put my... Oh, it's probably on the back, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the back. Oh, I do have a bunch of rubber. Look at me being all, like, <laughs> ahead of the game. I thought I crafted up some more. I'd forgotten I left it in there. All right. So well, there we go. Yeah, the motors, is it silver? Oh, aluminum. All right. Yeah, and then even, like, the aluminum. Like, every single one of these needs to be smelted in the blast furnace. So that's what happens when you... Start progressing and then eventually we'll need even fancier machines to smelt this all right we're working on that that's kind of basically what we're working on we're working on getting better battery storage all right we'll come back that's gonna be a little bit okay i think I think we are good now. Hopefully that is everything. Yes. All right. So there we go. There is our assembling machine. EV. So um, obviously it's not going to go here. Um, now that is the line of HV look under here i do have one over obviously over here all right if i wanted i could put it there um i really just kind of need this up so i can craft up these batteries um so maybe i'll just dump it here uh, to craft up these batteries and then I do have, now I have two of these. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second here. So, uh, Lapatron assembly. Also, I might want to see if there is, there's Lapatron right there. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't hold these in my inventory. Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying. Because there is our EV assembler, and then there is Lapatron. And I even did 120 Lapatron, that's funny. Um, I didn't, I didn't look. Oh, and there is our Ilmanite. And I have just never held. Let's do that really quick. I'm getting a little distracted here. <clears throat> All right. I just happened to see that, and uh, I had never. I just never held this stuff in my hand. Yeah, that's sometimes that's kind of annoying because uh, obviously, I just crafted these up, just never held them in my hand, <laughs> so the quest didn't complete. Okay, I just made the executive decision to 
get those items to complete the quest. I just literally just craft them up. I just forgot to hold them in my inventory uh, because I wanted the titanium. It just uh, it's kind of important at the moment. Uh, so yeah, and uh, my world, and I can do whatever I want with it. So <laughs> yeah, uh, and let me do that really quick. All right, there we go. Uh, does it matter? Probably not in the grand scheme of things. But again, this has titanium, and I wanted the titanium. Because that's a... What is that? 16 titanium? Yeah, the 16 titanium I would have uh, lost out on unless I had crafted more. I mean, eventually we'll probably use more of those, but uh, yeah, I didn't feel like doing that right now. No, our cutting machine is... It's still HV. All right. Now I'm like looking at all the stuff. I do think we might do the end stone. But okay. Anyway, uh, it does look like the thing. Oh, I've never held the. I'm just noticing the quest. Um, I have crafted up the other ones, but I never actually held. I don't know where they are. Where are, I've done some of this stuff too, like first box site. Yeah, I've done that before. All right, anyway, I'm not gonna worry about that um, because that one isn't super important, but it could be a lot, eh, there are eh, two circuits, it's annoying. Um, I just want to complete the quest because sometimes it locks other ones that I do actually want. I did work on that, didn't we? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, but I don't have all the the minerals or the the things. That's there's the uh, oh, it wants fifteen. All right. Anyway, getting totally distracted here. Let's get this crafted up. There we go. All right. So there is our Lapatron. We do have a. Extreme battery buffer while that is crafting up. Let's do this. Compressed copper plates, not that exciting at the moment, um, but we will probably need them at some point. I'm going to actually throw that with these, I think. Uh, just because I don't want to fill up all my things yet. Until I can craft up more. Now, we have our aluminum. I think. Oh, no. I just realized I did not. I was thinking about replacing this battery buffer with the EV. We're going to have a couple of these, but I just realized. Get in here. Yeah, that's only two amps. All right. So this is two amps. This entire cable kind of needs to be replaced with 4X cable. And that's a decent chunk of aluminum, isn't it? What are the other... Aluminum is the least... Let me do EV. Where are you, EV? There, there. Oh, no, that's you, EV. Oh, Vibrant Alloy. That's right, I remember. Vibrant Alloy, you can actually get four amps from that. And to be honest, you do actually get... You do get two cables from one ingot as opposed to if i switch to aluminum i'm gonna do two ingots per cable whereas the other way if i do vibrant alloy uh, the only problem is vibrant alloy is not the cheapest at this point um we don't have polyphenylene sulfide 
Whereas we do with aluminum. Silver. It might be silver is another one. Wish I could get all the cables. Eh, let me see. Yeah, I could maybe do that. They might be. Oh, silver is HV. Yeah. So we got nichrome. Which eh, might not be. Oh, oh, it's steel cable. That's right. Steel cable. You know what? Steel cable would be easier. And it's actually. That might actually be better than aluminum. I mean, there's a little less loss. And by little, it's half. I don't know. Okay, let me think about this really quick because I'm going to have to smelt up a bunch of cable here. But we should at least have. We got one battery. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, they do not stack because I see two. And, um, yeah, they're not going directly in the A system. Okay, let me figure out what I want to do here because I do think I want to replace this with the four amps. Eventually, we'll see. The other thing is I kind of eventually want to get more. Um, what a about yeah i'm trying to remember oh titanium that's right titanium is the other one we could do but titanium is once i get titanium going i usually switch to that because it's i don't know what to do let me think about this okay i think i changed my mind i'm going to i think we're just going to get rid of these batteries over here and have this go into the transformer. If I remember, I put a transformer. There we go. Oh no, it's hard to see under here. Yes. So the transformer. I will. Yeah, let's do this, and then, okay, it's hard to <laughs> change this tool, because I have to shift, and I am hitting shift and spacebar, but it's still going down. So I think if we switch this to, eh. I don't know what happened to my single, my single, Axe. Am I blind? No, I'm not seeing a single axe in there. Um, because the big one, you have to hold shift if you don't want to break everything. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'll hit this so it's two amps. Um, and then, oh, actually, I guess that didn't really matter. But I, oh, I guess I kind of need to move it up, don't I? If I'm breaking that. Yeah, because originally I did have that there. Uh, all right. I need another aluminum cable. It's always, like, stressful when you start um, redoing your power. Also, when I move this, we're going to like, you know what? I could probably get rid of this now. I think we're probably, you know what? I think we're done with that. Uh, there really isn't a need to have this steam anymore. I currently have four HV things going into this. All right, we should have enough. Power. I'm always worried I'm going to, like, blow the place up when I do this. All right, so that's the two amps, and then transform up. All right, I think we're good there.
All right. I didn't hear anything blow up. So that is always a good sign. So we'll have that just going in there like we did originally. It'll get transformed up into two amps of EV because um, I don't want any more. Uh, just in case when we start adding more things, I don't want that to go above two amps, uh, at least for the time being. And then we get over here. And then I guess, like I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit this through. Like I don't want this to have to go transform into a battery buffer, um, which we do have more batteries, but I would need to bump that up, I think. We'd have to be careful. So I've always left six batteries in there because I don't want to accidentally burn up all this cable. Um, but I would want... All right, let me think about this. This is going to be... <laughs> uh, this gets a little crazy over here. So if I do, can I fit cabling through here? No, that water. Okay, so that that isn't like super necessary right there. It was just kind of temporary to get some stuff or washed. So if I do, maybe I could have the battery buffer here-ish. We'll put the Lapidron crystals in there and then we can Go through here. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me think about this. Okay, just did a backup because this could get messy. Which is usually pretty funny, but uh, it does take like 20 minutes to do a backup and get the world reloaded again. So I'm going to try not to do that. Uh, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have the two amps come in. Um, here i think right here is where i'm going to place this now uh, until i can switch this over and rebuild this stuff i'm going to put that there and then we can start getting the the batteries full okay so there they go i think we're good yeah, we're only uh, we're producing about an amp of uh, EV, and now these batteries are quite a bit bigger than the other ones. Uh, yeah, forty-one million. This only has like eight million in here, so we'll have it come in here, and then I think I'm going to actually have it facing this way. And then I'm going to split. Where did I, did I put that away? Uh, I think I'm going to like split the power. And the tr Didn't we have a, oh no, I didn't have another transformer. I left, I broke the battery. It was the battery buffer I broke. Yeah. The, now I'm like, should we just leave <laughs> Uh, now it's like, but it's producing like one MV. It's producing like 10% of our power, actually. Now that I think about it, uh, for producing 2000 EU per tick from these four, these are producing 128. So it's okay. It's about 5%. I don't know. It just feels weird that, uh, we're producing power and I'm just voiding it. I just heard that steam and I'm like, ah, it feels bad. All right, we'll just leave that. And then uh, if it, uh, I'll get around to breaking all that stuff down and we won't have to worry about it. Um, okay, so I'm thinking we'll split the, my hover on again. We'll have the cable come out here one will go that way into that transformer and fill this battery buffer. And then, oh wait, this is a transformer. What am I talking? Ah, okay. Actually, what ends if we do, 
I'm getting myself confused here between the transformers and the battery buffer. I had the battery buffer. And then these. We can just dump these all in a thing. Basically, what I'm trying to do is have the, the EV batteries feed the blast furnace directly. So we're going to connect to this cable directly to this battery buffer. But trying to rearrange this stuff is the problem. Oh, also, I have a transformer right here. Oh, my goodness gracious. I have three transformers right here. Okay. So, I didn't realize that, actually. Um, we're not cooking anything in the blast furnace. Let's break this. And then, what I was thinking I'm going to do, we're going to run the aluminum cable through here, and then I will... We'll, oh, that's... No, that's right. Switch that to there. And then... guess that would go there, right? Think that'll work? Now, good thing I... I did the thing. Now, moving forward even more after this, we'll, get, we'll be getting rid of all this stuff. Because um, now that I have EV coming directly out, I might be able to get it to... Uh, separate platforms so we can start breaking all this down. Um, I just need to get this set up correctly. So that, that, that's technically two amps can go in there. This scares me a little bit. No, HV, EV, HV out, HV in, MV out. All right, I think that. I think that might actually work. And then this goes here. Oh god, don't blow up. I just keep waiting for the... Because I accidentally connected something I shouldn't. Alright. Well, we're moving forward here. Let's just double check. That's getting power, it looks like. This is getting power. Yep, it's running. I don't think anything is running here at the moment. I guess I didn't really need to break that down, but I was thinking we're going to come through here. Okay, so now this is going to be the sketchy part because I am running EV. I'm snaking this through here. And I don't want this to connect to either of these, and it scares me when it's it's not it's not uh, been died yet. All right, so that now it won't. Eh, technically, it could connect to that. Oh lord, this really makes me nervous. But that is why I did a backup. Oh god. Okay, no explosions. All right, let's keep going. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting. I'm like genuinely like tense right now. <laughs> it's uh, it generally like I was nervous. Like I was defusing a bomb or something. And I'm just laying cabling. Okay. Well, I think we got it. So, yes, there we go. We got our things, and they're being filled up with power. So now the base is running off our EV buffer. Just thinking, maybe I'm going to switch this. I usually like going into the back of battery buffers. I don't know. Just me being a bit funny. Like that. I like to go in the back and then out the front. I don't know. It's just what I like, so. There we go. Okay. So, with that, when we start getting rid of, or moving this stuff, I should say, we still need a lot of this stuff. 
um, to produce our fuel. Um, but now I can start branching off this battery buffer and we'll start adding more as well. Um, but then I can use this to, you know, this is not going to be here. So we can go branch out that way directly um, before we were transforming the power up into EV, transforming it back down into a battery buffer, then transforming it out up into EV again. And then sending. so we were just going through like we were transforming down, transforming up, transforming down to get power out. But now I can just directly go from here and it's much more efficient. We're not losing power, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do next. And um, I'm going to probably go off this way. We haven't gone off this way yet. Also, I just have random machines and chests just in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe go out this way. Maybe even like that way. Maybe we'll go that way. Um, we'll get a new platform and that will be, oh, actually, nope. We'll be going this way because the fuel needs to get over here. Although... We will be able to start transferring liquids through AE. So technically, if I want to produce my fuel like a way over here, we could actually get it over here um, just by running an AE cable. So we don't actually need to have it right next to it. Um, but in my mind, I was thinking we should probably have it close to that. I don't know. I'll have to plan that. Um, I mean, technically, we probably should have it kind of close to this, but it's going to be like a big distillation setup. And after we get all this stuff moved over, we're going to have to start thinking about Satane boosted diesel as well. And also, also um, start thinking about where we're going to be producing all our plastics and stuff with our large chemical reactors. Um, but we're slowly making process right when you get to AE, it is slow. Because um, you're trying to convert all your stuff into auto crafting and get all the stuff placed and interfaces and all that stuff, patterns made, um, and then um, I'm trying to redesign the base a bit. But now we are definitely able to access better power and longer transmission lines. Anyway, that's good for today, so thanks for watching. Have a good one.